Let's see how we're going to use our go-to functions now. Now you want to remember to notice what our go-to functions look like. Go to, we're using the variable A, so turn to and step distance to. That's going to be something you use over and over. I can see here I have the code for how to get matches zero. So I need to add the same code to get matches one, which I assume is this one, but we'll see. So go to matches one. Grab. We're going to go to the pile. Notice having the go to function makes it so easy to add these things. This would have been turn to matches, step distance to matches, turn to pile, step distance to pile. But instead, it's just two words go to and the item or the object. All right, so let's drop and we're ready to run it. Hopefully, you're thinking also that this is something we could use in a for loop because we'll be doing that soon.